It's Tim Layton from remodelingguy.net, and I'm going to show you real quick how to create a renovation calendar for your whole year using Trello. Trello is an awesome app, and it's really easy to use. It's free, and you're going to love it. So, you know, why would you create a renovation calendar? So let's just talk about that real quick. I wrote a post recently for uh, on realestate.com, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, but it talks about a few points that uh, a calendar can really help you with, and you'd be surprised. I mean, it's actually really helpful. A calendar helps you think your whole year through. It gives you a roadmap for your overall outcome. And it really kind of helps you to, to think about things like the weather and your budgeting. If you think you might have a certain amount of money coming in at some point versus another time, see in advance, make sure you don't have big projects overlapping each other. I'm telling you, it's worth taking a few minutes to do this. A calendar can relieve a lot of pressure uh, because, uh, you know, one of the greatest productivity tricks in the world, you know, is to calendar out your major goals and just seeing them written down it just it relieves the pressure that you're going to forget it or that you're going to procrastinate, that you're not going to do it. The calendar relieves that pressure. You put it on the calendar. You know it's going to happen, and it's a done deal. And number three, a calendar makes you accountable. A calendar, uh, you know, kind of lets other people in your in your family in your life know that you said you're going to do it, and it makes you makes you know that okay, this is what I said I was going to do. I'm going to do it, just like a workout calendar. So it makes you accountable to yourself and to others. You know, there's a downside to that, I guess, is that sometimes it can make you feel a lot of pressure like you failed if you don't get it done. But that's the great thing about Trello. It's super easy to just slide something over and put it in another month if you need to. Uh, a calendar can also help you budget. You can use these cards to, um, to you know, to put in like, uh, you know, estimates that you've got or little uh, material worksheets. You can link to a, a spreadsheet or whatever so that you can keep track of your budget. You know how much you're going to spend uh, throughout the year. Number five, a calendar gives you bargaining power. So when something comes up, you know, like a crazy uh, sale on airfare and it's like, hey man, let's let's get this. Let's do this. You know, then you can look at the counter and say, well, we could do this airfare. We could do this trip uh, to London or Australia or wherever we want to go, but we're going to probably have to put the kitchen in the next year. You know, do you want to do that? So it gives you a little bit of bargaining power and it pays to think ahead. So here's how you use Trello to do this. It's super easy. Okay, so when you go to Trello.com, set up an account, and then you'll have an opportunity to create a new board. So you click on that, and you give your you know your calendar a title, Renovation Calendar 2018, or whatever you want to call it. You can call it anything you want, and then you create that board. And the boards are made up of lists. So each one of these is a list. So you just put in a list for every month of the year, January, February, March, and so on, until you get to the end of the year. It's super quick, super easy, no problem. And then after December, go ahead and put in one for maybe. You know, that's something you hope to get done in a year, but you might not get it done until next year. Inside the list, you add cards. And you, a card can be for each project, like kitchen remodel phase one, kitchen remodel phase two. And you can arrange these throughout the year based on the weather, based on when you think money will be coming in. Um, you know, like I would do my roof replacement in October because I know it doesn't usually rain much in October. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and, and do, um, you know, so uh, build my outdoor deck area in the April so that I'll have it ready for the summertime, that kind of thing. So you could just go through and, and think about everything you want to do to your house during the coming year and just, you know, think about think about whatever uh, parameters are going to affect your schedule. You can do a lot more than just, uh, you know, put the broad strokes here. You can put details on each one of these cars, like phase one of the kitchen remodel. And I can include the details here saying what we're doing. This is super helpful for me to plan out everything I'm going to need, things I and think through problems I might run into. Like, um, you know, am I going to do light fixtures at this point or in phase two? And what about the dump trailer? You know, it, it needs a spare tire repair. Am I going to be hauling stuff to the dump? I really love this feature of Trello because it lets me, you know, keep notes that are connected to each project and each part of each project. And that really helps me to keep track of all the different things I'm trying to do, especially if you've got a job and, you know, you're, you're not, you know, full time working on this. You can think about dates when you might need things, um, you know, like, you know, I need to make sure that I've got my granite ordered by January 15th or whatever it is that you're working with, you know, having the ability to make these notes is super helpful. You can also include links to things like spreadsheets. Um, you know, there's there's all kind of stuff you can do. I'll include some links at the end. You can calendar it so that you get a reminder. I mean, there's a lot uh, that Trello does. But since we all know that remodeling is not really an exact science, one of the things I love the most is that you can take a card and slide it over to another month. So if you want to push something back, you can push it back. If you want to push it forward because you feel like you're going to have more time or your budget has changed, you can push it forward. If you want to say, you know what, maybe the roof is going to last longer, move it into maybe and not even necessarily do it this year. 
that's one of my uh, one of my favorite features. But that's kind of a, a broad overview of how you can use Trello uh, for your home renovation calendar, and it's very helpful. It's something that it really uh, you you really can't imagine all the different things you can do as far as keeping links to your Pinterest boards keeping links to your spreadsheets with your estimates, keeping links to your contractor websites, of people that you might use all within these boards. It's a great way to keep your home renovation work uh, organized. I hope that's been helpful and look forward to your comments and questions uh, below. Thanks. I'm Tim Layton from remodelingguy.net. If you like this video, please uh, give us a follow here on YouTube. Thanks. Bye.